Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Coffee Time. Have you had the experience that you go see a doctor and then they give you this two-page document of invoices specifying your payment? Well, think about what happens when you continue to see the doctor for decades and the doctor bills or medical documents that you rack up across the years. It could give you a headache, right? So in this video, we're going to be talking about intelligent document processing using AWS. This video is in collaboration with Pet Publisher. If this is the first time you're watching this video, how that works is they send me a book prior to the release. I read the book, review the content, and then I provide the video to give a feedback of what I feel about this book. So that's why we're here today, which is to provide this book review on intelligent document processing. First things first, let's talk about author. Author as the most important thing of the book. That's absolutely number one thing that I review. So who's the author? So the name of the author is Sanali Sahu. She's been leading AI and ML solution architect at Amazon Web Service. Her experience are specifically dedicated to healthcare as well as insurance. So she had a lot of experience developing industry solutions to handle a lot of document processing workload. So right off the bat, I just want to say that this author is an absolute legend, right? Just even on a personal level, if I could get my hands on this kind of technique, then I can develop my own application and user interface so that I can probably handle my own document a little bit better. And then on top of that, I just want to say this, Miss Hu has been an absolute inspiration for all of us. Then on top of that, here's a message to all the female scientists out there. If she can do it, so can all of you, right? So with that being said, hopefully this video can provide that content to show you what she has been doing in terms of intelligent document processing in this book. So to get this content started, I want to break things down just a little bit, right? On a high level, exactly what is document processing? Specifically in terms of the content and scope of this book, we are talking about taking a picture of a document. It could be scanned, it could be printed or handwritten from doctors or whatever nurse offices that you visit, and then you scan it. Now, hopefully the machine is able to tell the numbers, the text, and whatever other information that's in that document. So it sounds very convoluted and there are lots of building pieces all put together. Right off the bat, what you absolutely have to know is image classification. If there's a letter A somewhere in the picture, you better recognize there's a letter A. And same thing goes with numbers, right? The classic MNIST handwritten digit project that we all do in your undergrad project, in your master project, that's going to be the absolute basic that you have to know. So if I have a picture and there's a number nine or number eight in there, your machine better be able to recognize that the number is in that picture. So with that being said, that's the backbone, right? That's the backbone of document processing. That piece needs to exist first. And once that machine is well-trained, that machine gets deployed and wrapped up in another bigger algorithm, then the algorithm will deploy this function on each and every location of the entire picture to scan the letters, the words, the numbers, you name it. And then the remaining work is just to pack things together in a nice format so that you can print it and the readers can read it from there. Or if not, now hopefully you can pack the numbers together and then the scientists can then extract the numbers and then do some post-processing, maybe turn it into a spreadsheet, maybe turn it into some sort of visualization dashboard, whatever, right? So that's kind of how things work. And that's kind of how this pipeline get put together. So this really reminds me of my first ever NLP document processing project, which is during my time when I was a grad student at Columbia University. One of the projects that I did was really to reading the document and to extract the sentences from that document. And it's interesting to say that if you look at just the conventional convolutional neural network as image classification, in those pictures where the labels are always associated with certain texts inside of the picture, you break it down to the convolutional level and you look at the feature maps and it turns out that you can use explainability techniques such as class activation map to pinpoint the highlight of the picture that's generating that prediction label. And then you realize that, hey, 
the highlight of where that prediction is made actually falls on the location of the text in that picture. Even though this is just a purely 100% image classification model. So in other words, somehow when the convolutional neural network is trying to generate that predicted label, the relationship of text and label is intrinsically represented. Now that's sort of the key because that is the solution and answer to identify where texts are in picture. Now of course, right now there are much more complicated and much more efficient way to do that, but when I was a graduate student, that is one of the projects that I did, which I found absolutely interesting. So one of the pain spots that I had was back in grad school, just to simply do that project, and it's not even a complicated model, I had to write out hundreds of lines of code, which is not fun, right? And you can see how things could be broken down for hundreds of lines of code that's written by grad students and how that could work in the production, right? It's not going to be fun, the code's going to break, and there could be lots of bugs. So what I really appreciate what this book brings on the table is to reduce all that workload down to just a few lines. Now, of course, the caveat is you have to subscribe to AWS. So right off the bat, that's the first point I want to mention, right? Efficiency of building the production pipeline. So in addition to efficiency, what this book is also bringing on the table is a whole portfolio of techniques and functions that you can take and just simply start using and applying it to your application with very low bar of entry point. The easiness of getting to reading this book and to start using all these functions in your Jupyter Notebook is very low. Which, in other words, what I'm trying to say is anybody who knows Python can pick up this book, take a picture of your document, and start processing it. And AWS is making this entire process extremely easy, which then tied up to what we have been all saying, right? The AI for all promotion. If something works, you should be able to tune it down, package it, and make it marketable for majority of the audience. And that's exactly what we're doing here. And that's exactly what this book is bringing on the table. So with that being said, one last thing I want to show you guys is that this book has GitHub repo, which they release a notebook, they release the code, super easy to use. And I went ahead and I did a little bit of an experiment myself. So I just dig out one of the medical bills. This is actually one of the medical bills for one of my cats that's doing the rabies vaccine, right? We got a bunch of tables here, the total payments, the rabies vaccination, the titles are here, and I got to read it, right? And guess what? If I've been taking my cat to the vet for years, I'm racking up a huge stack of medical documents. And it's going to be extremely hard for me to read through all of this. And on top of that, what if you move a couple of times, right? You can have to pack this in a box, move it again, open it, and then read it again when you need to. And then when you switch a new vet, you need to dig all these out, send documents to the vet, and then they process it. And next thing you know, you're wasting hours, if not weeks, just to do this. And this is just for one cat. What about humans, right? What about hospitals? On a systemic level, on a global level, you can imagine the workload and how complicated things can be. So I went online to the AWS. I registered my own account. You do need a credit card information to register for the account. And then you just fire up a Jupyter Notebook in your SageMaker Studio. So I did that. I installed all the libraries here that's required and introduced in the book. And then you import all the functions that you need. So I don't have a document here and you can see, hey, the company is called Cathedral Dog and Cat Hospital. That's the address. This is my personal information. Obviously, I'm going to blank that out. And then, of course, you can see the invoice number. You can see the date. Uh, you can see the patient name, Pearl. That's one of my cats. And here you can see another patient name, Paul. So I took these two cats to the vet and they gave them rabies vaccine. And here's the quantity and here's the total number of payment. So this is the form, right? You take a picture, not even a great picture, right? You see the shades here, you see the elbows of my arm, you see the shadows, and there are lines here because I fold the paper. All sorts of things can happen. So what's happening here is I use the function called call text rack directly from text rack caller. 
and this is the function that they had you installed in the beginning of the script. And literally what I did is run the function, load up a document, and boom, that's a table, right? Now, I'm not saying that this is perfect, right? There are ups and downs. The good thing is this thing can be done, right? The information in that picture of the document, as long as it's there, then it can be extracted, which is pretty good and at least something basic that I could work with, right? For instance, that's February 10th, that's the date, we get that nailed down, client ID invoice, we got that nailed down, let's go back to the document, invoice is there, 58306, that number is correct, the date is there, February 10th, that number is correct. So this basic stuff, we can see that the text rec library in AWS service has no problem recognizing it. And then in addition, we have the description of medical waste disposal, we have the rabies vaccination, all these items are described exactly as what the document says. So if you scroll up to the documents, you can see medical waste disposal, rabies one-year vaccination, these information are there. Now, of course, the most important thing is the numbers, right? Quantity, that's one. Total, that's $3 plus $45, that give you $48. So these numbers are definitely there. They can be extracted, no problem. From there, I can keep tracking of the dollar amount spent for each of my pets, and I can know when things go wrong. This is just the invoice number. Imagine that you are collecting your own data, right? You're doing blood tests for a few times a year. You can collect that data. It's just a document from the doctor. You collect the document, scan it. This function is able to process that document for you. You pull these numbers out of these documents, process it again, generate a dashboard, you will be able to recognize your own medical history. And then you can do a downward detection if certain metrics in your blood test go up or go down with a sharp drop or sharp increase, that's when things go wrong. And that's what you should pay attention to, right? This way, you're able to personalize your own medical health data, which I think is truly valuable and something that hopefully we can get there one day that everybody has the capacity and the capability to handle their own medical data. With that being said, hope you like this video. Hopefully you find the information helpful. And on top of that, I hope that this video provides honest feedback of what I believe what this book is doing for you before you make a decision of whether to buy it or not. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give a like and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.